Well, technically the Ignatian spirituality term for me just means that spirituality that Ignatius founded. But there are kind of, you know, guideposts in it, you know, certain things that, uh, that every Jesuit knows. But there are some things that uh, you gravitate to more than others, like the two standards or uh, certain phrases that Ignatius embraces, like uh, the God who's always greater or Ignatius writes about uh, uh, take care to keep always before your eyes first God. Sayings and ways of saying that become part of the air you breathe as a Jesuit, but get deepened as you, you know, explore the spiritual exercises twice as a Jesuit, at least minimally, um, in the 30-day variety, and then every year in an eight-day version. You know, I was really young when I made the first 30-day uh, retreat. I was in the novitiate, and, uh, and it was powerful and wonderful. And in subsequent years of, you know, retreats, of course, and then studying it, uh, in, in, you know, at, at different stages. But my long retreat in tertianship uh, in 1992 in Detroit, Michigan, was just the most profound spiritual experience of my life. And uh, it was just the most uh, incredible uh, sense of union and, and, uh, and I've never experienced anything like that before uh, and since. It was just as extraordinary as it could be. So one of those touchstones where you can uh, reach back and touch it and, and keep it and uh, but it was, a, it was the most profound sense of God loving me uh, in the most particular way. And, uh, and then in fact, kind of entering into the joy that is God's in loving me, which completely blew me away and was com very foreign actually. Part of the Ignatian spirituality in terms of finding God in all things is also to discover in yourself that y you're you're not diminished by your diminishments. You know, who you are, uh, everything belongs, as Richard Rohr always says, you know. That it's, that's, we, we are who we are in terms of our own hardwiring. And somehow, uh, through us, through Christ, through who we are, you know, we're, we're just exactly right. In fact, we're exactly what God had in mind when God made us, and so suddenly, it enables you to recognize in creation and in the people in your path uh, God so quickly. And, and so that's all you're doing all day long, really, is reflecting back to people uh, the, the, the presence of God in an utterly unique way. So, uh, and, and people see it if you show it to them. You know, if you hold the mirror up and, and, and and declare the truth, which is each person is really the uh, is the shape of God's heart, and no exceptions. I'm Father Greg Boyle. This is my calling.